Hey guys, Ragnar back again. Today we're going to try and make a sheath for this bad boy and got a nice little bit of pig skin to try and wrap around the tip of the spear which is going to be awkward when it's seven foot seven and I have nowhere decent to hammer nails in so we're going to have a lot of fun with that one I think. And now it doesn't want to bloody stand back up, you stupid cow. There you go. Stay. Right. So, this is going to be a fun video. Not for me, because I've got to try and figure out how to time lapse to speed things up for you. Sort out camera angles so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but I'm going to do my best for you all, because like I said, this has been coming up for a while, and it's just pointless me trying to do beard oils over time when I've got other stuff that I actually need to do so I might as well show you a lot because I think you deserve a little bit of a treat every now and again I mean you're supposed to be good people I'm on to you already you see see I know you filthy animals and I know you do naughty things dirty bastards so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on with trying to sort out where the camera is going to sit and then I'm going to start using shit to try and throw shit together to make other shit. So we'll see how that turns out. Alright. Bear with me then, guys. What I'm going to do first is going to take my nifty little hole punch. Does have two different blades. You've got the one there that does four holes, and there's another little one in this packet here that does two holes. So I've, as you can see, I've already pre-cut out the shape that I want. I've done that for pretty much everything that I've got, um, just to try and save a bit of time and video work, which I'm no good at at the minute. So then we put those together. Clamp it in. And let's make a start. So then we put this as close to the edge as I can get it. Like that. And then we squeeze. As you can see, that's gone through all of that. And that's the result you get in the end. This is going to be a very long video of me messing up, I think. Because as I've said previously, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let me try something else. Let's go for the two teeth instead of the four. See if that makes things any easier. It's a bit quicker, still just as awkward, but a bit quicker, so we'll stick with this, I think. So that's where we're at so far. And then I'll flip it over, and then I'll do the other side from where I finished, left off with the uh, four holes. This definitely seems to be easier to get out, so we'll stick with this one, I think.
So we're making good progress now. Look, it only needs to go to about here, and then I flip it onto the other one, and then do all the other side, and then come stitching it together. Which, to be fair, I'm not too bad at stitching. It's going to look like arse, but I know for a fact it's going to hold up because I've had to patch things up before for my reenactment stuff, and they've been better than the original product that I bought. So. But again, where's the repeat custom if your item don't break, eh? So, let's just check that. Can you see that, guys? Look. So, that's basically how the axe is going to sit in there and then we're going to get some cordage just to tie it on up this end here so it holds it nice and secure but that's basically the style I'm going for and then when it's on it will look something like that I am going to stain it I've got two different boot polishes I'm going to try out to see which colour I like the look of most and that'll be the one I go for So uh, a couple more holes and then I think we will be good to go. There you go, that's your lot. That's that side done. I'm going to try and put you on a different angle for the next side so that you can get a better view. But that's basically it. Is that as high as I've got on that one? Yeah, that looks about right. I'll put one extra hole in just in case. So as you can see now, there's my two pieces all hold and ready to go. Put you back up at the top and then we'll go on with a stitchy, which is going to be even more fun I guess. Alright, so for this, I'm using nice brown waxed cotton thread it came in one of my toolkits I've also got a really nice wooden needle case so I think we will use fuck it go big or go home right so I've got this nice little pin here it's actually I don't know if you can be able to see that, but it is a triangle in shape, so that should punch a really good hole. So we'll get a decent length of this stuff. Should be more than enough. Take my little trusty razor blade, snip that. Good thing is, as well, that's a nice big eye in that needle. So, even my fat fingers should be able to thread it. Like, see straight in look straight in there get in and then we'll put a 
a nice big knot in this in a minute. Stop it coming through. We'll double it over. Make sure the ends are together. Pull tight. Right. So now we put a clip back on. And let the hard bit commence. Okay, no, that needle's going to be far too thick. I'm not going to get anywhere with that. Mainly because my thimble don't fit. So I'm going to need a different. That one there should do. So this is what we're working with so far, look. That's that side. And if I flip that over, that's the back.
So the only problem I have it now is my needle is now quite fucked. And you can see that properly there, look. I bent it to buggery using the pliers, but if I didn't use the pliers I wouldn't have got it through anything. Swings and roundabouts I suppose. It's still doing its job, so I'm not bothered. Got plenty more anyway, so makes no difference to me. Here we go. Alright, need to trim off the thread. There we go. That's actually quite a nice tight fit on there. I don't know if I'm actually going to need to tie it on. I'll do it anyway. So that's all that there. Look, so it's not pretty, I know, but functional, in my opinion, is far more important than it being bloody pretty. Now I've got this stuff here. This is a, a woven bit of thread so it's basically the same stuff sort of used here but you use it for beads and necklaces it's what I've got left over from a necklace that I wear normally so now we take this we slide that back in there so we can see where we can put our holes and I think just in there just here will work quite nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this again. Crimp as close to the edge as I can so I only get one hole. widen that out while it's on there. I'll try my leather raw instead to see if that makes it any better. Is that now going to be wide enough? 
Yeah, plenty. So what we do now is we pull that through there like that. That little bit there, look, where it's ripped through. That's a good thing. Hole a bit more circular instead of oval. Right, so now let me just sort this out a bit. We've got that that comes around there, look. Like that. So now it means we can slide that in there. Now we can see where we need to tie this off. As you can see, so this bit here already is looking good. Then just take it off, we have to do is pop that. Gives you enough room not to slip it to the front. It slides straight out. It doesn't matter if it slips all the way down, because as long as you leave enough toggle at the end, you can still get it off. Let's try and replicate that again for you. So as you can see, it slips all the way down here. As long as you leave a bit to pull on, you can maneuver it up and over still. Good thing is it's not going to go anywhere when it's on. And there we are, guys. One nice leather sheath. As good as that. That easy. Again, it's not dyed yet. I'm going to do that in another video for you. I think this one's gone on long enough. But that's everything. Just to show you again. That slips nicely. On oh, there like that, and we can just wrap it. Doesn't have to be tied on for this bit. Just to show you how it looks. That's it. Awesome sauce. So, right. So that's that, guys. That's the leather sheath. Renax, nice and secure, well, as secure as I can be bothered to get it, doesn't need to be properly useful, it's just to look like it's covering a sharp blade when I'm at shows, and I think it does that job quite well, and I do have enough thread there where I can loop it up a bit higher, and bring it round on itself. So it's got multiple tying options. As long as it's on, it's on. Not bothered. It's just to stop toffy nose people going, oh well, you've got a sharp axe. Blah, blah, blah. When it's actually not. But obviously I'm supposed to be replicating that I am. So that's that. Right, I'm not going to do the spear today. Like I say, this video has gone on far too long as it is. Um, I'm going to try and do the mammoth editing that I've got to do now. The camera even 
cut off about five times so that's going to be fun trying to recover all that footage as well so yeah thank you very much for coming guys I'm very honoured to have you here as always um, if you do want to attempt anything like this at least you've seen how to bodge job a load of it together it didn't cost the earth it literally cost me 20 quid for this and then 20 quid for the leather set that I showed you in the previous video so uh, I'll put all the links for those in the description anyway and I'll see you again when it comes to doing either dyeing this or the spear which I might do later actually if the weather turns crap as it has been the past few days so cheers guys